Hey everyone, I'm Gunix here and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So today I'd like to take a look at something very interesting. I don't know if you guys know this, but you can actually make Godot games using an Android phone. I forget exactly how I found this out since I found it out randomly a few months ago that this was possible and I've been wanting to find time to make a video on it since. But if you go to Google right now and search Godot Android, one of the first results that pops up should be a page to the official Godot website where you can download Godot for Android via the Google Play Store or just the APK directly from the website. So I've actually downloaded the Godot 4 editor via the Google Play Store today and my phone isn't exactly high end. I mean I played FNAF games, GTA Vice City and some GTA 3 on this phone sometimes but it's going to be interesting to see how we go using the Godot editor on my phone. This will be my first time checking out Godot on Android so now how about we get right into it. Alright guys, so um, I'm currently recording my phone screen, hopefully the recording goes okay. Uh, I just realised recently that my phone has an inbuilt screen recorder, so hopefully everything goes alright. But um, yeah, so as you can see here, hopefully as you can see, I have got the Godot uh, project manager opened up on my phone. So yeah, this is literally on my phone. And uh, we're going to go create new project. And yeah, so now we can just type in a name for a new project it seems. And, uh, what's well, not backspacing at the moment? Oh, there we go. All right, now we can type in the project name. All right, I'm just going to call this test, test project. But yeah, very interesting that we can actually use Godot on Android. Um, I don't know how long some of you guys have probably known about this, but yeah, I only just found out about it like a few months ago. But yeah, so as you can see here, we can even choose the renderer. We can choose between forward plus, mobile, compatibility. Uh, the mobile one is the default one selected for uh, when you're using Godot on Android, it seems. I wonder if my phone uh, is going to be uh, good with using that renderer or if I'll have to use compatibility. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, let's go create and edit. Alright, so now it's creating the project. Hopefully everything goes well. I'm hoping that, uh, yeah, it all works as expected. Alright guys, so the project has finally been created. Uh, hopefully you guys can see what's going on here. So yeah, it's pretty much just the full Godot editor. And uh, yeah, so we've got like a black screen uh, here in our empty view. I don't know what the FPS is like, I mean, from moving around these thingies here, it doesn't look very good. But anyways, let's create a new node, a 3D scene. We'll create a new 3D scene. Um, let's, let's see what we've got going on. I mean, right now everything's just black. Maybe that's because my phone doesn't support Vulkan, maybe? Perhaps? Because, yeah, literally everything's just black right now on the on the screen, like... Because usually you'd probably expect, like, the sky to show up in the background or something, right? Like, the environment and stuff. But that's not happening. It's just all, um, black. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the renderer over to compatibility and see if that changes anything. So, let's do that. Alright, guys, so it looks like I was right about the Vulcan issue... Because, yeah, um, the screen is no longer black as you can see. I mean, as hopefully you guys can see. And yeah, here I am. I'm literally just moving around the Godot editor now on Android. Like, this is really cool. I don't know of what other proper game engines there are on phone that you can use. But it's really cool to see that you can actually use Godot on Android if you want to. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, so um, I'm just going to create a new 3D scene now. Uh, hopefully it creates it. Do I have to, like, double-click or something? Oh, there we go. Just takes a bit of time. But yeah, so, um, let's actually add a child node. Let's try create a game object. Uh, let's try create a game object. I don't know if for this video I'll make, like, a full-on game. But, you know, I'll try to, like, just make a game object. We can do that at first. So we're at a static body 3Ds, first of all. I think it's collision object 3D. Yeah, it is. It's collision object 3D. Alright, static body, create, and boom, now I've got a static body 3D. And then we can add a child to this, or oh, accidentally just pressed a drop down arrow, add a child to this. Mesh instance 3D will search up, and there we go. 
But yeah, so it's really cool how we can literally just like, you know, make a Godot game on mobile. I think that's really, really cool. Select the box mesh. And it should set the box mesh and boom, now we have a box mesh. So yeah, right now I'm having to use compatibility because uh, my phone doesn't seem to have Vulkan support at all. Uh, but yeah, overall everything's looking pretty good. And now let's add a collision shape finally to this cube. Just go add. <clears throat> and by the way, this seems to be like a Godot 4.3 as well. So it's the latest version, like the latest uh, uh, version of Godot as well, which is really, really cool. And it's not like just a cheaped out version of Godot, it's like actual proper Godot for Android, which is really, really cool. Some of you guys have probably already known about this for a while, but um, to me this is very interesting checking this out for the first time. You know, like actually seeing that you can actually like, uh, you know, make a make a games, <laughs> make uh, Godot games on Android. And um, yeah, like... Uh, it, it performs alright on my phone as well, using the compatibility renderer on my phone. You know, so as you can see, I've got a cube here, a static body cube, and uh, yeah. We can probably even like scale it out as well. We can go into the transform. Oh, there's like actually like a scroll bar here you can use, that's cool. Then we can actually like, you know, scale things out if we want to, yeah. So yeah guys, as you can see, you can literally, like, properly make it. I almost just said it again, games instead of Godot games. You can actually properly make Godot games on Android, and that is really, really cool. See, as I said, I'm not going to go making a full game uh, here at the moment. I might actually make a video on that at some at some point, actually. You know, like, uh, make, trying to make a full game using uh, Godot Android. I might actually do that for, like, one of my next videos. But yeah... So for this video, you know, I'm just showing you guys, like, hey, did you know you can actually, like, make games v uh, via Godot on Android? And uh, I guess for one of my next videos, I might actually do a video where I try make a uh, game using Godot Android and see how I go. You know, it won't be anything complicated, I'll just try and make it as simple and quick as possible. But yeah, overall, it is really cool that we can actually do this. Alright, let's try add a camera into the scene. Let's just add a basic camera into the scene, just to look at our cube through a camera. Go create. Now, yeah, we can actually like full on move everything as well. Um, but yeah, it's actually like quite usable using just like your fingers, you know what I mean? Because what I expected, right, is that I might have to use like a keyboard and mouse connected up to my phone somehow. But no, it's not like that at all. In fact, I can just simply use my fingers, my touch screen of my phone, to simply just, you know, play around with the Godot editor, and that is really cool. I mean, look, we even have, like, the project settings here. Like, this probably includes, like, all the proper project settings and everything as well. Look, we even have our input maps. Like, yeah, everything's here. Pretty much literally everything is here. Go to the window size. Yeah, like, literally everything's here. Like, it's not just a cheaped out version of Godot. It's, like, actually everything that is included in the desktop version of Godot is here on Android as well. Now, I don't know if there's an iOS version of Godot. I haven't looked into it, but I don't think there is at the moment. Um, but yeah, uh, if you ask someone who does use iOS, that would be cool if... Uh, if there was a Godot version for that, but I'm not sure if there is, I only know of the Android version, but yeah. But yeah, so anyways guys, that's pretty much going to be the end of this video. Uh, hopefully you all did like it. And uh, yeah, so if you're someone who doesn't have a PC at the moment, but you have an Android phone and you want to use Godot, guess what, you can, and it's completely usable as well. Like, um, it's actually pretty alright to use, you know, like you have the full suite of Godot features, you know, it's, you know, you can easily move around and add stuff in with just, you know, using your touch screen. You don't even have to have like a, like a, some special way of having a keyboard and mouse connected up or anything. You know, you can just use it as normal. But yeah. So anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. I'll see you all next time and bye-bye.